We are here in Epcot. I'm with Emily and Tyler. <laughs> and we are going to check out some of the food and wine festival. We're gonna show you guys everything they have to offer here. Well, most of it at least. <laughs> and we're super excited. Are you guys hungry? Yes. Oh my gosh, so hungry. I'm ready. Good. <laughs> Okay, so during this festival, they have Remy's Hide and Squeak little scavenger hunt. So you go around World Showcase and you have to find the different items. And once you do, you can put the stickers on each country. And then at the end, you get a little prize. So we're gonna do this together. And then these are the passports. So basically in here is all of the different stands that they have and the food items that they offer. And then you have these stickers that you can put whenever you go to visit one of the stands to just kind of like cross it off your list. So we actually picked up our little map at the rentals area where you can get like strollers, wheelchairs, and pass holders get a discount. It was only like $6 basically instead of it being seven, right? A dollar off, hey. It's a little difference, but it helps. And then this is what it looks like. So this is what the map looks like. And then let's see the stickers. Cute. So much fun. So we are about to go into the festival center and over here you can see the construction wall for Guardians of the Galaxy. So here in the festival center is where you can find the pass holder magnets. So cute, it's got Chef Mickey on it. And you can also get a cutting board on your fourth visit. So it's my third, but next time I'll definitely be sure to pick it up. So we found Remy with the olive oil up there and we put our sticker on the map. We found Remy in Mexico on this little balcony. We actually had a hard time finding him. That was a little bit of a challenge, but we got it. Emily, what is the phrase you've come up with for the day? Stupid rat, where mm -hmm. you at? <laughs> We're currently having issues finding Remy in Norway. So Tyler is looking it up and he's going to guide us in the right direction, okay? It's not cheating, it's just simply some guidance. <laughs> so we found Remy up there with his little eggplant. Wow, what an accomplishment. <laughs> we worked so hard to get here. So we are on the hunt for some school bread. Yummy. So Emily and Tyler both got school bread. <laughs> so delicious. What is it, Tyler? Tell us. So it's a, a yeast roll <laughs> with a custard inside and on top with grated coconut around. Okay, so school bread, you know, it's only like four dollars. So luckily, uh, well, it doesn't cost uh, it doesn't cost a lot of dough. <laughs> Okay, so what would you rate the school bread? I would rate school bread six out of five breads. <laughs> and what about you, Emily? Maybe like a 4.70. Oh, breads. that's very specific, and you broke the scale over here. So there's Remy in China with his garlic. Yay! All right, Tyler, what did you get from Germany? Bratwurst. He's so excited. He loves some bratwurst. I like how the bun is so small compared to the actual sausage. Comes with a dip. So since we're in Germany, I'm gonna have Tyler rate the bratwurst by beers. How many beers out of five? I would say 3.5 out of five. Okay. I just wish the bun was a little longer and then the sausage was a little bigger. But that's just, <laughs> it was very good. So just in case any of you guys were wondering, my ears are actually from Lucy's Grotto. She makes the best floral wire ears. I will link her shop in the description if you guys want to go check her out. Also, park pro tip, if you come to the parks a lot, these little fans will be your lifesaver. I got mine for like $15 on Amazon and you can just use like rechargeable batteries, put them in here and it has three different settings depending on how hot you are, which normally it's very hot here in Florida every single day. Remy is up in the flower pots here in Germany. Your professional sticker placer now. So here in Italy, Remy is on yet another balcony. What is it? Wait, is balsamic that balsamic? vinegar cushion? Oh, okay. That's what it looks like. We'll go with that. There's Remy up there in America with the carrots. Remy is not loyal to uh, the um, frozen sisters. He stole Olaf's carrots. Wow, uh, look at him running off with it. <laughs> Naughty Remy. <laughs> we found Remy amongst the grass here in Japan with what looks like zucchini or cucumbers, something like that. So we both got the teriyaki chicken buns from Japan. 
I'm so excited because this is one of the items that I've heard the most about this year. All positive things, of course. <laughs> so we're gonna try it. Okay, I'm super ready? excited. Oh, that is really yummy. It is really good. It took a little bit more on the sweet side. Mm hmm But it's super good. Whatever teriyaki sauce they put in there. I love it. So, as you can tell, we have the Tsukushima Shrine in the back of us. Hopefully I said that right. And so I'm going to rate the teriyaki bun. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5, actually. Yeah. yeah. 5 shrines out of 5. I'm going to give it a 4 shrines out of 5, just because I'm saving my so another pro tip when you're coming to Food & Wine, I highly recommend that you get one of these little gift cards. It comes on this little wristband strap and it's actually free. So you're not paying anything extra for this. You just load it up with however much money you want to spend. So this way you can kind of limit yourself if you have a certain budget. And then you can just go up to the stands and they'll scan it right on there. And it's just so much more convenient because you have it on you and they don't have to go and swipe your card or anything. So Remy has his tomatoes here with him in Morocco. We found him all the way up there on top of the Morocco stand. So we're matching again. So we got the same thing. We're in Morocco and we both got the hummus fries. Now, I've actually had these plenty of times before and I love them so much. The sauce they put on top is really good. It's a little bit spicy, but it's delicious. I know it. I want to know what you think. I'm excited. It's like a little bit crispy. Yeah. It's not like a french fry or anything. It's good. I like it. It's like spicy hummus that's fried. Yeah, pretty much. So we are going to use the french fry in the to rate this because it's the closest thing to hummus fries. I guess they're nothing alike, but we'll just go with it. <laughs> what is your rating? I'm going to give them. 3.5 out of 5, just because it bought my mouth. I'm going to give them a 4 out of 5, because I still think they're really spicy. I love them, but it is a little bit spicy for me. I also love the topping. It was like cucumbers and so on, so that's like nice and cool. Like, oh, I don't know. We are in Brazil, and Emily got the cheese bread. So good. I tried this before. This is a classic. They this usually bring it back every year. Good as ever. It's so scary and so nerve-wracking.
Emily, how many cheeses out of five would you give your bread? I'm gonna have to give it five cheeses out of five, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yay! Remy is right at the top of the... We found Remy in France, where he belongs. So we are in France and we decided to get drinks. We've been eating food all along, but you know, we're thirsty, it's hot outside. And what is this drink? La passion Martini Oh, it's fancy. fancy. <laughs> Delicious. so good and refreshing in this content. It tastes so good. So, for this one, we're going to use the martini glass emoji, and we both rate it 4.5. 4. <laughs> I would rate it a 4.5 instead of 5, only because it's 1075, which is a little bit pricey, and I feel like there's not actually that much alcohol in here. So, you're more just getting the fruit slush part, which could be a lot less expensive. But I agree. Besides that, it's really yummy. So Remy is right there above the Rosen Crown with the bread. In Canada, Remy is really obvious. He's right next to the sign for the booth. So here at the chocolate studio, I got the liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle, and I've had this one before as well. I love it so much because it's kind of like ice cream, but it's a truffle. It's really weird and it's really unique, but it's delicious. It comes with the caramel on top, and I don't even know what this topping is, but Whatever it is, it all tastes so good together. It looks pretty too. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this five chocolate bars out of five <gasps> because I've come back for it and bought it over and over again. I love it so much. And it's really nice because it's hot outside. I love the warm chocolate pudding from Ireland too, but I went with this one today just because it's so hot out. Over here at the cheese studio, Remy is in plain sight and it's so funny because we have such problems finding him and then we realize that he's just right there. Over here at Coastal Eats, Remy has the onion and we just have one more after this. And last but not least, at Flavors from Fire, Remy has the bell peppers with him. Yay! We've completed it. Look at that map. All finished. So we are here in the Light Lab. This is in the building right next to Club Cool at Epcot. And it looks super cool in here. They have fun drinks as well. Some are alcoholic, some are non-alcoholic. They have a flight and they come with lights in them. So it's fun. This is one of Tyler's favorite places in Epcot, Club Pool. What'd you just drink in like a second? <laughs> nice. What's your favorite from here? <laughs> All right. What's your favorite from here, Emily? I like the best thing. The best thing. <laughs> Um, Madame Frosty is nice. I love Bebo as well. Oh, Bebo is nice too. Yeah. Soda shots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's getting wild here in Club Cool. <laughs> so here in Disney Traders is where you can get your prize for the hide and squeak. So there's four different kind of cups you can get in the end. One has Figment, one has Mickey, one has Minnie, and then the last one there has Remy on it. We picked the Figment one because Tyler loves Figment. So it's like a little 3D cup, cute little sings, different foods all over it. I love it. Just when we thought we were done for the day, we passed by Hawaii and Tyler saw the Kahlua pork slider. I know he's had this before and he loves it. Is it just as good as it's always been? Mm -hmm. So you finished that in like two seconds. Mm -hmm. How many pineapples out of five would you give it? Five out of five. <gasps> Wow. wow, the winner. We are finishing up our day here at Epcot's Food and Wine Festival and we had such a great time. There was nothing that we tried that we didn't like. Everything was pretty good and some things were excellent. Everything we tried was really good, right? Yes, delicious. Yes. Do you have a favorite? Anybody? Uh, pork slider. The very last thing, the finale. Yes. Ending on a good note. The cheese bowls. <laughs> what? <laughs> the cheese bread. <laughs> from Brazil. You're the only person I know that calls it that, that's why. <laughs> um, I don't know what my favorite thing was. I really liked that teriyaki chicken bun from yes. Japan. That might have been my favorite thing. Also, because it was something new that I tried. The other things I tried, I've had before for the most part. So, that is it. But thank you all for joining us today. We've had so much fun. Group hug, we need a group hug. Group hug. <laughs> Goodbye, Bye, humans!